Let's continue with section 6.2 on video two. Andrew has a sales of $10,230 in a month with returns and allowances of $1,120. If he gets a paid a commission rate of 12%, find his gross earnings. One thing to keep in mind for this question is you don't earn commission on pieces that customers return. So to start out, we're gonna to have to take the 10,230 in sales and subtract away the 1,120 of returns. That gives us a total of $9,110 in product that customers kept. For our commission, we're going to take that $9,110 in sales that customers kept and multiply that by 12%, which is $9,110 times 12% as a decimal would be 0 0.12. Multiplying those together is $1,093.20. That is Andrew's commission. Or his gross earnings. In the next question, we have a variable rate of commission. So on the first $10,000 of sales, the person is paid 6%. On the next $10,000 in sales, because 20,000 minus the 10,000 in the first category is another $10,000 in sales, is 8% commission rate. And on any amount over 20,000 gets 9%. Commission. Like before, let's think of these as category one, category two, and category three. If our person has sales of $32,768, they're for sure going to have sales in the first category because they've made, or they've sold at least $10,000 in products. They're also going to have a category two and commission in that category because they're at least in the $20,000 category. And they're actually gonna also have sales in the third category because their sales for the month go above the 20,000. So in category one, there is at least $10,000 so all $10,000 of category one get paid at 6%, which as a decimal is 0 0.06 for a total of $600 commission in category one. In category two, the most amount of sales you're going to have is $10,000 in sales, and that's from the $20,000 high end minus the $10,000 from the previous category that you already earned commission. So at most, you're gonna have $10,000 in sales in category two. And since we're up to the 20,000 and even over, we're gonna use all $10,000 in sales in this category at 8% for a total of $800. In category three, we have to figure out how much sales are falling in this category. It's anything above and beyond the $20,000 that we were already paid for. Remember, we were already paid for $10,000 in sales in category one, and we were already paid for another $10,000 in sales in category two. So to find out how much sales are in category three, we're gonna take our total sales of $32,768 and subtract the $20,000 in sales that were already paid, 
or basically where that comes here from the previous high end. And that gives us that we have $12,768 in sales for category three. So that $12,768 in sales gets paid at the 9% rate. And if we multiply those together, $1,149.12. When we add up our commission from all three categories, I get a total of $2,549.12. Question six is very similar to question five, only they aren't listing the categories in a table or a chart. They're actually just listing them in words within the word problem. So we'll make our own chart. Eric is paid $452 per week, plus a commission of 9% on sales between 15,000 and 25,000. So let me go ahead and say our category one is our sales from zero to 15,000. But there we get no commission. That's just expected. The first category where we get commission is when we're going above that 15,000. So category two is going to be from 15,000 up to 25,000 and notice that that is going to be a $10,000 maximum amount of sales. So the 25,000 minus the 15,000 from the previous category. And that's going to give us a commission of 0 0.09, excuse me, 0.9%. Notice that that's below 1%. So just kind of keep that in mind. So it's going to be a small decimal. Category three is sales over in excess of 25,000. And that gets a commission rate of 1.1%. Let's go ahead and take a look. Let me switch colors. In category one, there is $15,000 in sales, but it's at zero commission. So we get $0 for that amount. In category two, remember we said there was a maximum of $10,000 in that commission category, and since we are selling $36,300 in sales, we're definitely in category one because we've made it to $15,000. We're definitely using all of category two because we're above $25,000. And then in category three, we'll have to figure out how much sales goes in that category. So in category two, we're going to use all of the $10,000 available in that category. So $10,000 in sales in category two is paid at 9% commission. So 0.9, excuse me, 0.9% is going to be 0.9 divided by 100, which is 0 0.009. So watch all those zeros. And that gives us $90. In category three, Here's where we have to figure out how much in sales fits in category three. So the sales over 25,000, if we top out, or if Eric tops out at 36,300 in sales, minus the 25,000 from the previous categories, that's gonna give us $11,300 in sales for category three. So that $11,300 in sales in category three gets paid at 1.1%, which is 0 0.011. And that's a total of $124.30.
Now to finish up, we're gonna take the salary that they earn plus all three of these commissions. So total paid is the salary of $452 plus all commission. And our commissions were $0 in category one, $90 in category two, and $124.30 in category three. For a total of $666.30. And that ends section 6.2.